Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Can you say hi, Bim Boo? <laughs> um, so today we are actually getting started to work a two day trip. It's going to be a long trip. It's a high time trip. I think in total we're gonna fly like 13, maybe almost 14 flight hours, which is a lot in two days. That's generally what you would fly in about three days. So today should be pretty interesting. We're gonna be working at two flights. We are going from Dallas to Phoenix, and then we have a three hour ground sit. And then we are gonna go do Phoenix to Chicago and have an 11 hour layover. So it's gonna be a really small layover, really long work days. But anyways, let's go ahead and start getting ready for the trip. Oh, hi mama. You jealous? You want to be on camera? She came over here just to say hi to you guys. <laughs> hi, sweetums. He has the laughiest lap dog ever. Anyway, we gotta go get ready. You wanna go get ready for the trip? So I've already got my suitcase all packed. I got my uniform laid out and I got my new Apple Watch for Christmas. So this is the Starlight color. I love this one. My last Apple Watch was black and I love the black, but I'm really digging this one. And then got all of my stuff basically ready to go over here. So then last but not least, I have to get my lunch pail all packed. So I went ahead and pre-made a salad with a hard boiled egg, turkey bacon croutons. I also am going to go ahead and bring one of these spicy shin ramens. I am going to bring a Kodiak cake muffin. So both of these are great because you can just add hot water to them. These are awesome. You just put them in the freezer and then they defrost, but I don't like to drink coffee all day long. So I'm also going to bring my verb energy bars. We're going to have long days. So I really need the extra boost and verb energy does that for me. So whenever I'm working these long in-flight days, I do always want to take a verb energy bar with me. It's basically like my secret weapon to get me through it without having to have a second or third cup of coffee. And I do also want to thank Verb for sponsoring today's video. So I'm bringing along peppermint mocha, chocolate chip banana bread, as well as vanilla latte. I have yet to have a flavor that I didn't love and the packaging is to die for. But the other thing is each of these bars are infused with organic green tea and they have as much caffeine as an espresso shot, but without the crashing or jitters. And I literally just put them right in the front so they're easy to grab. They just tuck in really nicely and then go ahead and zip them on up. Not to mention that Verb has given me an awesome offer for my viewers. So if you head to my link in the description box, you can get the Verb Energy Starter Kit for only $8.95. So this is 12 bars in your flavor of choice, plus three bonus bars in their top selling flavors for only $8.95, plus free shipping. So you're gonna get all of that, the 15 bars for less than a dollar a bar, plus free shipping when you click that link in my description box. So once again, thank you to Verb Energy for constantly supporting my channel, for helping me get through these long flights. Now let's go finish getting ready for our trip. So the man, the legend himself dropped me off for work. We just got to the airport, so I'm gonna jump in, get through security. We still have a little bit of time, especially because my flight is already delayed by 15 minutes, but that is fine. So we're gonna get everything out and see what's going on at the airport. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I'm not excited. <laughs> So funny enough, my badge actually expired today, so I just had to go get a new badge. Um, um, I also Jim, picked up. We need help, Jim, at A15. <laughs> I also picked up a salad just because we delayed again. So now we're on a rolling delay. I think we're about 45 minutes in total delayed. So our sign-in time is going to be like another hour or so that we have to burn. So I'm probably just going to listen to an audiobook and hang out for a bit, and then I will see you guys when it's time to board. Okay, so we are finally on the plane an hour later. Cleaners are on board, uh, catering's catering us up. I'm gonna put my stuff away, check the equipment, because we're gonna get ready and go to Phoenix very quickly. <laughs> up 
being two hours delayed in total on the last flight. I will give you all the details when we get to the hotel room, but now we are on the plane again for the next flight and there's already some kind of maintenance delayed. I think we're gonna board as normal. So I'm gonna put my stuff away, check my equipment, and we're just gonna hope for the best, but I will give you all the details when we finally get to our hotel. Cause you guys, I am tired. I'm super tired. I'm like, I'm, I'm craving that hotel. I think we have a three hour flight, but right now it's already 7.42 Phoenix Mountain time, which I think is 9.42 Dallas time. But anyways, let's get ready for the flight and I will see you. <laughs> I will see you when we get there on time. <laughs> so if you don't learn my name, I'm gonna lay down, I'm gonna lay down, I'm gonna lay down and die. Okay, so we have made it finally! And this is the first trip that I have taken my company issued winter coat because Chicago, y'all played me last time, but I'm not gonna let you do it twice. It's freezing here. It's windy, it's super cold. <laughs> so this is gonna be our nice home for the night, our nice room. It is going to be a very short layover because right now it is 1.19 in the morning and we are meeting downstairs at 11.30, which means I need to be up around like 10.30 in the morning so I can get ready, maybe even a little bit sooner, maybe like 10.15. We're gonna have very, very long day tomorrow, but we'll get into that when we do. I'm gonna go ahead and change into something comfy. I'm tired, I'm sore, and that bed just looks delicious. <laughs> Let's see if they have a luggage rack, and sure enough, they do. Thank you very much. What in the world is this? We needed this kind of energy. <laughs> Whoever was staying in this room last who did that, I need to know, who hurt your feelings? Like, who hurt you that bad? <laughs> All right, I guess let's go ahead and find the sweats because that's for sure what I'm gonna be wearing. Okay, so for food today, I picked up that salad at TGI Fridays and that's what I ended up eating as well as a Verb Energy Bar and my ramen. So basically this salad and then that um, protein muffin are the only food options I have left that I brought with me. So I know I really didn't eat much today, but it's already like after one o'clock, so there's not much I can do about it. We had enough time that I should have been able to get food in Phoenix, but obviously, <laughs> obviously in the world of uh, flight attending, flight yeah, that's right, flight attending. That doesn't always happen and things don't always go to plan. You can for sure do exactly what I did today where you don't even have your first meal until 6.30. Just be prepared because it gets a little crazy sometimes. We had that three hour sit in Phoenix. That was supposed to be my time to go get some food. Didn't happen. The delay ate into that instead of the layover. So all in all, that's, that's actually really nice. So the next flight actually could have been on time, but it was a little bit late coming in from Puerto Vallarta. Puerto Vallarta, Puerto... I don't think I'm gonna say it right, but y'all get the gist. They have to do a plane sweep. So if a plane comes in from international, they have to sweep the entire plane. There was a maintenance issue that happened on the plane coming in that they had to fix. By the time that we had boarded everybody up though, it was basically just paperwork. So it wasn't anything too bad, but we did arrive a little bit, a little bit after what we should have. So that 11 hour layover is already. <coughs> but yeah, so, um, what was I saying? <laughs> I also met quite a few of you guys, surprisingly today. Like usually on my trips, I at least meet like one or two of you guys, but today I met a lot of y'all. I was like, where are y'all coming from? Y'all are just coming out of the woodwork. I love it. If y'all ever see me, come say hi. Like it's a, it's a prerequisite. Pre I can't speak tonight. Y'all gotta forgive me. Can you tell I'm tired? You're like, cat, you getting real delusional over here. <laughs> Right, you guys so I'm gonna go ahead this bed is comfy even if I went to sleep right now I'm only getting like eight hours and that's like if I was like KO'd right this minute so I will see you guys bright and early in the morning ready for go home day I'm 
still so tired, but we got to get up and we got to get moving. We are going from Chicago to LA. We have a two hour sit and then we do LA back to Dallas and it is, say with me, go home day. <laughs> so it is go home day. I haven't tried this one yet. So let's see how this flavor is. While I was making my coffee, I went ahead and took, there we go. I went ahead and took a little sneak peek outside and you guys, <laughs> y'all would not believe what I saw. This is where I started and I was like, what is that? Why is it white? It is snowing. There is snow outside, you guys. This is my first snow of the entire season. I did see ice in Portland, so I don't know if that counts, but I don't think I've seen like snow snow yet. I think this is like literally my first snow of the season. So Chicago, you got me there. All right, so we got our toasty, warm coffee. This is toasty. Mm. Oh, that's good. Okay. <laughs> my salad and then I like felt it and I was like, why is this warm? The only thing for whatever reason that stayed cool are these little pods. Other than that, everything is warm. So my ranch, my salad did not stay in the fridge and they're all perishables and now I'm like, oh, cause you can't risk food poisoning. You can't, if you've ever, ever had food poisoning, you know how awful it is. Now imagine that on the plane, cause it does happen and it's so, ugh. These fridges in the room are a very fickle thing. They can freeze your food, they can not even keep it cool, they can do it perfectly, you just never know. And I think this is also part of the reason that I don't pack all of my food because when this happens then you have to throw everything away. That sucks. Um, be aware if you're in the industry or you're going into the industry, the fridges are fickle, so uh, just be aware of that. I think even this is gonna have to have to go because it says it's perishable and has to keep refrigerated, so. Okay, that's a bummer. Oh well, oh well, it's gonna be fine. We'll get food, the universe will work in our favor, and that is it, that is it, and that's all we can do. All right, I think I'm basically all packed up. Gonna need that. I think I'm basically all packed up other than just getting dressed now. my coat on, got my stuff packed, so let's go ahead and go downstairs and meet the crew. It might not be no crossroad, but it's sure enough for four. Like left to LA, a ride to New York. Like stepping on the gas, or taking it real slow. So we are actually on the 321 at Neo. 
So this one, I don't know if y'all can tell. So this one, there's no jump seat over there. I actually sit up in the front and then I work in the back, which is pretty cool. But we had time to stop at Farmer's Fridge. So I was actually able to restock my food. I just got food for the entire day. So it worked out perfect. This plane is perfect. I am so ecstatic. Like this is a good day. Like you like can probably can't turn it down, but I'm very, very happy. So let me show you what I got. So you can always pick these up on the side so you can like dump your salads and stuff and eat in there. But I picked up a pineapple coconut chai pudding and then I have a pesto pasta bowl. This looks yummy. And then I also have a Southwest salad. So Southwest salad with chipotle chicken. This one is phenomenal. I tend to get it every single time. These two I hadn't had, so I'm excited to try those out. So if you guys have never had Farmer's Fridge, definitely check it out. They're in the Chicago airport and the Philly airport. I would love for one to come to the Dallas airport, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and put my stuff up, check my equipment. I think we still have about 20 minutes until boarding. It's gonna be a long flight. I think it's like a four hour flight time or something around there. We're going all the way to Los Angeles. Um, but other than that, I think it's gonna be a great flight. So I'm gonna get my crew duties done and I will see you guys when we land. So we just landed in LA, it was a nice smooth flight, very easy. So for four hours, it went by quickly. We actually had the secretary of the Department of Transportation, I was about to say Treasury, of Transportation on the flight. So that was kind of cool, very nice guy. So right now we have two hours, so it is 3.25 and we do not leave out of here until like 5.30. So we have two hours to burn. I might end up going inside just to kind of walk around, get out of the plane, but we get to keep this beautiful thing, thank goodness. <laughs> 